Hello, and welcome to the JWST Exposure Time Calculator. In this video, we will show you how to manage and share the ETC workbooks. We do this on the Available Workbooks page, which is broken into two panes. The top pane shows a list of available workbooks. The bottom pane allows the user to share workbooks with other registered users. Additional information can be found in the JWST documentation by clicking on the blue question mark icons. We will focus first on the top pane, which is currently empty and contains no workbooks. We have three options for adding workbooks. One is to click on the Create New Workbook button, which adds an empty workbook to the above list. The second option is to select a sample workbook, which is a pre-made workbook containing calculations using a variety of JWST instrument modes. We will select the first option and add it to our list of available workbooks. The third option is to select from a separate list of pre-made workbooks called Example Science Program Workbooks. These workbooks are associated with articles in the JWST documentation that walk the user through creating a proposal from start to finish. We will select the first option and add it to our list of available workbooks. Now that we have populated our list with workbooks, we see that there is a variety of information provided in the lines above. The first column is an identification number which is unique to each workbook. The name is a descriptive title that can be changed by the user. Following a new release of the ETC, the out-of-date column will be populated with the ETC version number that the workbook was created in. This identifies the workbook as deprecated, meaning it is read-only and must be copied to continue editing it. By clicking the Load button, you can access the workbook and edit its contents. This opens a new tab in your browser. The description provides additional information on the contents of the workbook. The last column provides two options. One is to copy an available workbook. By clicking this button, you see that an additional workbook is added to the bottom of the list. If you would like to remove a workbook permanently from your list at any time, click the Remove button. Doing so brings up a dialog box asking if you would like to perform this action. In this case, we do, so click the OK button. Now, let's see how to share a workbook with another user. To do so, click on the line containing the workbook you wish to share. This will highlight it in yellow. Information on who has access to this workbook will be displayed in the bottom pane. This shows a list of users who have access to the workbook and the checkboxes to the right show the type of access that each has been granted. Read access means that the user can open the workbook and view its contents. Write access means the user can edit the contents of the workbook. Grant access means the user can share the workbook with other users. Revoke access means the user can revoke access of the workbook to other users. To share the workbook with someone else, type the email address associated with the MyST account into the user email box, then click the Add User by Email button. This adds the user to the list of users for the workbook. Note that, by default, read access is the only privilege given to a user. This is to prevent multiple users from working in the same workbook at the same time and overriding each other's changes. This encourages users to copy the workbook that has been shared with them in order to edit its contents. As the user who shared the workbook, you have the ability to give additional privileges to other users. If at any time you would like to revoke access entirely to a specific user, simply uncheck all the boxes and the user will be removed from the list. Note that if you are working anonymously, you will not be able to share workbooks. This concludes the video on available workbooks. If you would like additional information on how to use JWST ETC, see the links in the description for this video. Thank you.